Hi, I'm back with What's Nick Working On Today. So I'm working on trying to pull together the corners of this old frame. It's not a particularly valuable frame, but it does have some sentimental value to the client. And it's in the vise, and I'm gently tapping the corners back together. And I've never seen anything quite like this happen before. Let's come in and take a look, Kelly. When I tapped over here, the vibration went through here and this rope detail just like vibrated off in chunks. It was really strange. So this is really hard to try to rebuild by hand with clay or something. So in a case like this, what do you do? Well, you make a mold. I'm using a product called Mold Builder. And the, the instructions are okay, but it takes a little more time than they say. You would begin by brushing, in, brushing on a very thin coat. That's your first coat. And I would dry that with a blow dryer probably for about 10 or 15 minutes. And then after that, you just keep putting coat after coat after coat on it until you've got about 10 to 12 coats. And then it really begins to thicken up. And you really can't blow dry between each coat. You have to, once you get past the first two coats, put a coat on, wait 12 hours, put another coat on, wait 12 hours. It does take a while. Um, and so when the mold is finished, uh, we'll come back and show it to you. Hi, I'm back. What's Nick working on today? And in the first video, I forgot to mention that before you paint on the mold compound, you spray the item you're molding with this. It's a mold release agent and it keeps the rubber mold from sticking to what you're painting it onto. So I forgot to tell you about that step. Now, the mold is dried. I've already come down here and loosened up the edges and started peeling up the front a little bit. And what we're gonna do now is peel it off. And there it is. Next step is to mix an epoxy compound and fill this whole thing with epoxy and then peel this off. And I should have a perfect duplicate of this beautiful rope detail. And we'll show that to you when we get there. Thanks. So what I'm doing now is painstakingly and very carefully removing the resin from the mold. Two things to keep in mind. The hard part is going to be, or really the meticulous part, is trimming all of this edge away, leaving just the chain links. And it may not show in the video, but in between the links, there's actually a lines that's part of the frame. So the good news is I don't have to trim the center out, just the edges. And we'll show you the next step when we get there. 